Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a cute little set of story stones. You'll need about 11 small stones, unless you want to add to it. And I'm going to paint them all one unified color, black, and let them dry. And yes, my hands are a mess. <laughs> I am going to sketch on each one. You're not going to be able to see it very well, but uh, there's going to be a different variety of um, things that we're going to be putting on the stones. Each one is a special part of the weather, so uh, it's fun to teach little ones about the weather or, you know, let your kids play with them and make up stories with them. Um, it's a lot of fun, and we are rock painters, so... Of course, we're going to make story stones, right? Now, there's going to be tornadoes and lightning and moons and snowflakes and umbrellas. And I will have a whole list. I will put the list of 11 things in the description of this video. And uh, basically, I'm going to outline everything in gold. And I'm going to add hologram at the very end. Um, but right now, I just want to kind of find my shape with the gold. And then I'm going to fill it in with color and we'll fix everything along the way. So I am, it's hard for you to see uh, each one, but I am starting off with the sun, and I just did the lightning cloud. And then once we have them all outlined in gold, uh, that's when we will start adding white to prime the backgrounds uh, of any that need color on top. So. Pretty much all of them are going to need a little bit of white. <laughs> so that's our next step. Just make sure your black is dry and uh, you've got everything outlined so that you know where everything is. And then you can start filling it in. I do like to outline everything using my fine lining brush, which uh, how I make my fine lining brush will be in the description of this video. Um, but then I use sponges. So you can use any kind of sponge you want, but I am using... Martha Stewart sponge daubers or Craftsmart uh, sponge daubers. Uh, either one, the Craftsmart ones are a little bit less expensive, um, but I haven't had issues with either of them, so I do recommend both brands. I am just outlining yet another cloud. I believe this one's going to be our rain cloud. They're all happy. All of the stones are happy. None of them are like mad, angry lightning because you know what? I love a good lightning storm. I love the sound of the rain. Um, so none of them are, are bad weather to me. So I'm going to make sure that they all have smiles on their faces. So everything that needed a background primed, I've done that. Everything except for the tornado and the snowflake. So I'm going to start off with you uh, using yellow. So anything that needs yellow, I'm going to get that done first. So my sunshine, my moon, both of my sunshines actually, because there are two. Uh, I am using Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Bright Yellow and Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Pumpkin Orange. Um, so that's just the two colors I'm using. You can use whatever colors you want. You don't have to use the same as me. I'm doing an outline around the edge with the orange, and I'm going to blend that in to the yellow a little bit with a sponge. Just to give my sun a cool effect. Once again, it's optional. I need to do my nails. I have been fishing and four-wheeling with my hubby. We had a little date on his birthday and spent the night in our trailer and cooked steaks by the moonlight and it was amazing we had a, a really it was very much needed unplugging from everything for a little bit and uh some alone time without the kids so it was really really nice um but i have been so busy uh i'm glad to be back painting with you guys again we have had some nice weather we do need some rain here, so I'm making sure to have some raindrops on these weather stones today. <laughs> now I will be doing a live, I've been talking about it uh, for a little while now, uh, as soon as I get the time, but I just want to let you know I will not be painting during the live. I will strictly be 
uh, answering questions and letting you guys get to know me a little bit more. Um, it won't be really long, but you can just enter your questions in and, and I will answer as many as I can. And uh, we'll go from there. You paint with me with every other video, so I thought maybe uh, this video, the live anyway, would be more more or less just answering any questions you guys have. So I uh, have made my stars, they're sloppy little stars, they're not perfect and that's okay. Um, they are yellow and I am adding glow in the dark which is Americana glow in the dark paint. Uh, it's never failed me, I, I get along with it well, I've been using it for a couple of years. Um, just put glow in the dark on the moon and I'm putting hologram, champagne colored hologram glitter um, on the stars. Now this one is going to be our windy day uh, stone. It's wind and I'm just making sure that I have a nice white background and I'm adding a little bit of pewter gray. So I'm sponging it on the cheeks first where my cheeks are going to be and then I'm just going to kind of blend it in with the rest of the cloud just to kind of give it a little bit of a grayish tint to it not too gray because it's just windy it's not a storm cloud or anything um, so we're just gonna give it a little tint of gray and then find his cheeks again with the white now I'm outlining it all with gold all of our stones are gonna have faces on them except for the umbrella the rainbow the snowflake and yeah, those ones won't have faces, but everything else is going to have a face, and we will do that at the end. This one is going to be a little rain cloud, and so I've added a little bit of blue to it. And then I did the same thing. I sponged over the blue with some white, so to kind of blend it in a little bit, not make it too blue. And then I outlined it with gold. Now this one is our lightning this is our lightning storm cloud so we're adding more gray to this one making it a little more dark and angry looking but once you see his face you'll know he's not angry because he likes lightning and you can tell that this is the lightning rock because there's still a little bit of gold lightning at the bottom there that I didn't cover up with the white just so that I knew where my lightning needed to be when I did go back over it with the the color and now I'm using yellow again we don't really stray too much from from the color uh, except for the rainbow and the umbrella I guess they're pretty colorful but most of this is white and yellow <laughs> here's our tornado and I just scribbled it on and I'm using my gray again. You can use black mixed with white to make gray if you don't have gray. Uh, you don't have to use the same gray that I'm using. And I'm using a sponge to fill it in. I just like the effect that the sponge gives instead of the brush strokes. You can just kind of see like a an airbrushed kind of look to it. Adding a little bit of white and then adding a little bit of pewter gray over top of the white just to make sure there's not too much I just want to give that uh, tornado a little bit of texture. Now I'm using a sponge to add in a little bit of shade in the center so it looks like there's actually a wind tunnel there. Outline it with gold of course. And I'm going to be cleaning up my gold line a little bit with black paint afterwards once it dries. So if I don't show you all the cleanup part of it, that is literally taking uh, this lining brush and black paint all the way around it and thinning out some of the areas where the gold is super thick um, and just literally cleaning it up. Some of the spaces around the sun, uh, I could still see some white, so I had to go around the the sun rays and clean those up as well so you know think about it before you decide to seal it if there's any cleanup that needs to be done now I am just adding random color to my umbrella red orange blue green and purple you can do any color umbrella you want you don't even have to do stripes you can do polka dots if you want you just get creative with it 
Now, you can do different types of story stones. You don't have to follow along with my weather story stones if you don't feel that they're interesting. Um, you can do camping story stones. If your kids love camping, you can paint up like a tent and a fire and s'mores or marshmallows or hot dogs on sticks. And you can uh, do a little tent um, or a little trailer. It's up to you. You can make a story out of anything. Um, also, a good idea is if you're welcoming a new baby into the family, you can surprise your kids or your loved ones with um, story stones with like a diaper and a bottle and a stroller and they can guess what you're trying to tell them in that little story. Um, there's so many different ideas that you can come up with um, for story stones. So if you think of good ones and you want me to do a tutorial, uh, just let me know in the comments if you can think of a good idea for some cool story stones and then I will add it to my list of things that we can paint together. Now a very easy going snowflake, nothing too fancy there, uh, just lines and dots and I used white paint and then I covered it in holograms so that our snowflake is sparkly. I used my sponges to get the snowman, the three pieces of the snowman there. Uh, added branches, a little red scarf, a little bit of a hill of snow there, kind of looks like he's snowboarding, and a couple of specks of snow coming down. He's going to have a cute little carrot nose, and I will be adding hologram to the snow on this as well when I add all my hologram. <laughs> I like to do it in steps, so if this is confusing for you, um, I understand, because my steps might not make sense to you. <laughs> I am outlining the branches in gold, and the hologram is going on the snow, on the outer edges of the snowman, and on the dots of snow coming down in the sky. Very simple. Now, here's where we're putting some more faces on. So here's our happy little sunshine, as happy as can be. This, like I said, I do things in steps. So I do the sketch it on with pencil, then I outline it with gold, then I fill it in with white, then I fill it in with color, then I add the details at the end, which is the faces and the hologram to certain things as well. Now our little cloud in front of the sun is happy and it has eyelashes longer than mine and a little white dot with a toothpick in the center. I just used the gray for the face on the cloud. I'm going to be using gray for the face on the cloud here. This is our windy cloud who is going to be at full force by the looks of things. <laughs> Super windy. Now I did the outer part of the mouth in gray and then I filled it in with black and then I'm just going to add some random wind bits swirling around there. And I will be adding, adding hologram to that wind as well. This one is our rain cloud. It's happy. It's not crying. It's happy that it's raining because that is what it does. That's its job. Each one of these stones has a special place in the weather system, so each one is happy about its job. Here's our lightning cloud. I'm going to use black because he's a little angry. He's a little angrier, but he's still smiling. <laughs> but I feel like the black really brings out his eyes. Put a little white dot in the center of those. Give them a cute little mouth. Put some gray in there. Awesome. This one, this one's mischievous. So he's going to have a bit of a mischievous look. His dots are bigger for his eyes. His smile is mischievous. A couple of swirls of wind around him. A little white dot in the eyes. And while you can't see, I'm doing a little bit of cleanup on the gold around him because it was super thick in some spots. 
Now here's the moon. I'm just using gold like I did on the sun. Um, just a little bit of gold. Put a cute little smile on them. And then on the stars, because there's a glitter on the stars, I'm going to use black so that you can see it really well. Now my umbrella needs some raindrops. So I'm just adding some blue raindrops and then on top of the blue I will add hologram. And I will be using uh, art resin to seal my rocks and it's completely non-toxic, safe for your whole family. You can eat off of it. It's 100% food safe. Um, so it's safe for our kids to play with them. So I am adding that at the very end. They get super glossy um, and all the sparkles really start to show up and they just look adorable. So when, uh, when you seal them, keep in mind that it has to be something safe for kids to be handling or anybody to be handling. Make sure it's safe for you to be handling. So here you go, guys. Aren't they adorable? They're perfect. Put them in a cute little sack and give them to someone who's going to have lots of fun with them. I love you guys. Thank you for all your love and support and keep painting. I will be back again soon.